This is Precious Okeke, the young lady who was killed by her fiancé in Lagos just a few days ago. And it seems we may have new details surrounding her death. And I need you guys to listen because there is a chance that this man right here is trying to get away with murder. And also we have details as to how he killed her. Up until now, not much is known about the girl. In fact, we still don't know enough details about her. Her family is yet to speak out. However, from sources, this is what we know. Now, like he confessed in prison, he brought the girl from the village. Even though he did not really claim her as his fiancée, everyone who knew him knew her to be his fiancée. It was said that when he went to the village, we still don't know which village that is, he did a basic introduction where he just introduced himself as the future husband to the young girl. It's unclear how long he had known her or if they go way back, but it was said that he just went to see her parents and declared interest in her. And obviously, the parents were happy that their daughter had found an eligible man who wants to marry her. We still don't know their full relationship details. Because like I said, he did claim that she really wasn't much at the initial time. However, sources have said that she was his fiancé. Now, I need you all to understand that the reason why he might be denying her is because he's trying to get away with murder. Or should I say the reason why he denied her initially because I'm sure by now he would have admitted that she was his fiancé. Now, this video of Precious and Ifine dancing was said to have been taken a week before he killed her. This was said to be her birthday party which he threw for her. There were friends, neighbors and well-wishers at this party. And you could see her having the time of her life. Little did she know that tragedy was just around the corner. When Ifain was caught, at the initial stage, he confessed to killing her and admitted to having sex with her body for six days. It was in his initial confession that he admitted to killing her and having sex with her body for six days under the orders of a native doctor who directed him that that is the way to wealth. However, sources are claiming that he may have said that under the influence of alcohol. But when he was taken to the major police station, after a brief interrogation, it was said that he claimed she and him had a fight on the said day she died. He is claiming that he did not mean to kill her, that they were having an argument and then she hit her head on the tiles of the kitchen where she fell down and died. It was at this point the police now asked him, if you're claiming you didn't kill this girl for ritual purposes, like you first said in your initial confession, how come you didn't alert the neighbors? How come you didn't take her to the hospital? Or how come you didn't call the police? It's unclear his response. However, it happens that that would be his line of argument in order to get away from this. Now, according to some other sources, it was said that there was a mark in his back. An injury that kind of proves that this young lady precious okeke may have struggled for her life as he tried to kill her and in the previous video that i made it turned out that the chemical he tried to hide her decomposing smell with was not exactly isal it turned out that this man was actually trying to embalm her a particular source claimed that that smell was an embalming fluid smell i guess that was why the nurse was able to recognize the smell if i was already embalming this girl in his kitchen and within the six days he was supposed to be sleeping with her her grave had already been dug and this is the creepy part of this story it was said when the police went to check out the grave in the next compound of the building because a woman near the compound had already spotted it initially while the smell was going around the neighborhood. I guess she connected one or two dots, perceiving the smell of a dead body and spotting a dog shallow grave in a bushy farmland that is unoccupied. When the police went to check out the grave, it was said they noticed a human scalp already decaying in the grave itself. Some sources claim it was a human head. However, from my own source, it was just her scalp. It's like a decaying human hair. It's unclear and bizarre why they chose to bury her scalp in the grave before her body. It was almost as if they had cut a part of her head that was attached to her hair and threw over the fence to the shallow grave. Or could it be in an attempt to drag the body out, the person holding her head side held her by her hair and since her body had been dead for like 6 days, I'm sure it's possible that the hair may have ripped off the entire scalp if someone was holding it by it. It's just unclear and it's just bizarre. But when the police went to the shallow grave, they saw her scalp attached to her head already decomposing with maggots all around it. Also remember that Ifain was not in the house when the police bursted him, but when the police found Precious body in the kitchen, it was said her body was already covered in sack. Now, as to how this guy is planning on getting away with murder, according to sources, he has a wealthy elder brother. 
Remember it was reported that he offered to pay the police 6 million naira to get away with this shit just so they could cover it up just so that he doesn't go out to the public and even though he didn't succeed it's almost as if the fact that he comes from a wealthy family or the fact that he has wealthy siblings might play a role in him getting away with this there are rumors that the girl is not from a wealthy home there are rumors that the girl's parents do not have the same capacity or influence that ifa may have had and clearly when you don't have enough money it might be difficult chasing justice for your loved one especially if they have to go against someone like this who may come from a very powerful and wealthy family or who may have wealthy siblings who might be willing to stand for him don't forget the initial claim that he killed the girl and slept with her body for six days for money which he confessed with his own mouth has already changed that they were fighting and she hit her head in the tiles and died which clearly means he's not ready to admit that he killed this girl for money rituals which clearly means that this case would have to go to court for justice to be served just for clarity her family has not yet spoken out as at the time of making this video and the case is still very fresh which means there would be subsequent updates so stay glued to this channel like follow subscribe so whenever there is an update to this story you will be the first to know another thing that is very relevant that a lot of people are saying or should i say insinuating is the fact that this may not have been the first time he had done this and i said this in the previous video that i wouldn't be surprised if this isn't his first victim remember they recently just moved into the apartment in December of last year 2021 just four months ago it would be nice for the police to investigate where he's coming from and all the line of people who he had dated and see if anyone has gone missing in the past because if any of his girlfriend or anyone he has dated had gone missing in the past then I guess that would prove a lot what is more shocking and painful is the fact that this guy threw out a birthday party knowing fully well that he was going to take her life what really happened to Precious or KK was really unfortunate and I don't think it's something she would have seen coming seeing that she was about to spend the rest of her life with this man who had told her family that he was going to marry her let's hope the police and the judicial system are just with this case let's pray that Ifine doesn't get away with this regardless of his wealth and affluence or should i say influence precious okeke deserves justice because this young man here knew what he was doing from the very beginning he met this girl i wouldn't be surprised if he had planned this all from the very start even before he probably met the girl he killed her in a very strategic and planned manner there is no one he can convince that that was an accident there is no one who would believe she just fell and hit her head in the towels in the kitchen and even though it was said that he confessed with his own mouth that he slept with a dead body for six days as ordered by the native doctor he is now taking back his statement and he will most likely claim that he was under the influence of alcohol when he made that confession which clearly means that this guy is ready to battle his innocence in court precious okiki was a very pretty girl and we are hoping that she gets justice like this video and share the story so more people would know her name and see her face and know that she is just another victim of gender-based violence and ritual killing.